Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be explaining in depth how I use my Brain Them page in my bullet journal. I have been doing the Brain Them page on my monthly setups for almost a year now, but I would sometimes take it off my monthly pages because I wasn't using it. But since February this year, I decided to do the Brandon page in every single monthly setup and make this page an essential in my bullet journal for every month now because I noticed that sometimes I needed the page and it wasn't on my bullet journal because I chose not to do it. And so I noticed that that was a huge problem in my productivity for the whole month. When I do this page in my monthly setups, I always get comments asking what is it for, how I use it, and to give examples and stuff, so I hope this video helps you with that. I will show you my process in migrating tasks from one month to the other and how I use it every day to be more productive. So first things first, what is the Brandon page? This is my random page for the month of April and basically is the place where you can write everything that is on your mind. You can write here your monthly tasks, monthly goals, projects that you want to work on, ideas that you have, things you want to try, things you want to buy. You can either do a wish list, a shopping list and so on. You can even add here post-its and cards, whatever you need you can add on this page. Instead of having random things bothering you in your mind, you write them down on this page so you know that you have to do them because they are written down, but you are not stressing over them and thinking about them all the time, if that makes sense. It has the purpose of keeping your mind clear and focused. My personal description of the Brindom page is that this page is like my mind, but that my eyes can see. I'm a very visual person, so when I can't see something that I have to do, I stress out because for me, everything that is important needs to be visible and written down in my bullet journal or in my task lists and somewhere. So the tasks and ideas on my mind are not visible, so they are like open tabs in my brain, they are completely lost uh, and they are only visible when I write them down on the Brain Them page. And once they are on this page, I don't stress about them because I know that now I have to do them sometime, but I'm not stressing out over them. So how do I use it? Every time I have an idea that I want to work on or a task that needs to be done this month, I write it down on my random page. This was my random page for the month of March. I usually divide the pages into random ideas or projects on the left page, so I know that on this page are things to think about or things that I want to eventually work on someday, and on the right page I have my tasks. Normally tasks that weren't done on the previous month or things that I need to get done this month. I do this so I can separate the two sides and, you know, see clearly what I have to do and what I have to work on. So nowadays I just keep the random pages really simple with only doodles around the page and a title normally in the bottom, but this was my random page for February. I divided a page into three sections and I just felt like it was too much. Nowadays I just prefer to have the two pages instead of one and I don't physically divide the pages into sections, only if I have to, like I said before, but normally I just keep them pretty simple and I don't divide them in any way. So now it's the beginning of April, I'm looking at my March Brandom page and I'm seeing some tasks undone and incomplete. Those are the first ones to be migrated to my April Brandom page. Then I'm just going back and forth and migrate all of the other tasks that need to be done to my Brandom, so I can touch on them this month. Throughout the month, I will check things off and add new ones depending on what I have to do throughout the month. And I will add ideas and my projects on the left page so I can keep track of everything that I want to get done this month.
If I need to think about and reflect in one of the tasks, I migrated to the ideas section on the left page of my brain dump, so I know that I have to give it more thought before I actually do it. In this example, I thought that I was going to send the giveaway prizes to the winners in March, but because of this pandemic, I don't know if I should send it in April or if I should give it more thought and just migrate it to May or June. I know that these are the things I want to touch on throughout the month. If I end up not touching on them because of something, I forward the uncompleted items to the next month's brain dump page and the cycle begins again the next month. Therefore, every day throughout the month, I look at my brain dump page and decide if I want to work on something that is on the pages. If I choose to work on one task or to work on a project, I forward that task or project to my weekly spread, either to the task section on that weekly spread or to the daily spaces if I want to work on it on a specific day. The random page helps me to see what I have to do this month, what is important to get done and to keep my mind clear. If you don't have a brain dump in your bullet journal, I highly recommend you to try it. It's a great tool to keep you focused on the present tasks and to make you more productive. So you tackle one task at a time and have everything under control. It's now the end of April. It's time to look at my brain dump page for this month and to do a quick review and migrate the undone tasks and uncompleted projects that I have going on for May. I ended up having a lot more projects than what I previously planned, so I wrote all of them on the left page and some tasks that I needed to do on the right. It is in times like these that I am grateful to have a brain dump page in my bullet journal because if I didn't have one, where would I write all of this? For me, my projects are related to YouTube and Instagram, but for you, it can be for school or college, you can write here all the school projects you have and homework and assignments. The brain dump page is very versatile and that is why I prefer to have big and blank pages so I can write everything I need to write down and not forget about anything. This is my May brain dump page and I'm going to look back at April and see what I have to do in May. The tasks that were not fully done, the projects that I have going on, and I'm also going through the tasks that were done in April and see if they were in fact completed or that I need to redo some of them in May. I always do some type of reflection on my brain dump page on the last day of the month if possible so I can have a clear idea of what I have to do and what I have to work on in the next month. It's really easy to think that you don't have a lot of stuff going on in your life or that you have a lot more things going on than what you actually have going on. So having a brain dump page helps with that as well. Especially now in quarantine, it can be hard to stay organized and productive. So even if you already did your next month's pages, save one or two pages at the end of the weekly spreads to just write everything that you would like to get done or start working on in May. For now, this is everything that I have on my brain dump pages. As the month goes by, I will add more projects and tasks to them. I hope this video helped you understand this page. Let me know if you have any doubts about it. In the description, I'm going to leave some videos where I mention this page and how I use it in case you need any extra help. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!